Apple usually likes to roll out their new Macs in the fall, and we're all eagerly waiting to see what they've got up their sleeves this year. As we're getting closer to the middle of October, the anticipation is building. If Apple plans to unveil some shiny new Macs before the holiday rush kicks in, history tells us that we might just see that announcement happen this month. So, let's dive into the exciting news about the upcoming M4 Mac Mini that Apple is getting ready to launch. Now, if you remember, the M2 Mac Mini hit the market in 2023 and quickly became a go-to choice for folks who wanted a desktop computer that's both portable and powerful. It packed a punch with its performance, while being compact enough to fit just about anywhere. But hold on to your hats because Apple is about to up the ant with the next version. Instead of rolling out an M3, they're skipping straight to the M4 chipset, and that's a big deal. This is shaping up to be the first major redesign of the Mac Mini in a jaw-dropping 14 years. With the M4 chip in the mix, we might just see a redefinition of what a compact desktop computer can do. So, let's break down everything we know so far about this much-anticipated M4 Mac Mini. First off, let's chat about the design. Can you believe the Mac Mini hasn't gotten a serious makeover in over a decade? Yep, the current model has been rocking the same look since all the way back in 2010. But guess what? That's all about to change, and it's definitely overdue. Apple is gearing up to give the Mac Mini its first real design refresh since the days when Steve Jobs was at the helm. According to tech insider Mark Kerman, the upcoming version is set to be Apple's tiniest desktop ever. We're talking about a size so compact that it'll be almost as small as an Apple TV. Picture this, a sleek, minimalist design that not only looks modern, but also helps you save space. The new Mac Mini might have a similar footprint to the Apple TV, but it's expected to be just a tad taller than the existing model. The M2 Mac Mini stands at 1.4 inches tall, which is pretty short, so a slight height increase shouldn't mess with its portability at all. What's really exciting is that despite the smaller size, the M4 Mac Mini is rumored to deliver some fantastic thermal performance. There are whispers that Apple is working on innovative cooling solutions, which means the machine could maintain optimal performance without even needing a fan. That's a win-win situation. He'll be quieter and still handle demanding tasks without overheating. So whether you're doing some casual browsing or tackling something more intensive like video editing, this little powerhouse should keep its cool. Now let's get to the nitty gritty, the processor. The highlight of the new Mac Mini is undoubtedly going to be the M4 chip, which is the latest in Apple's line of custom silicon. This new Mac Mini will roll out in both a standard M4 version and a more robust M4 Pro version. They're completely skipping over the M3 series, which is a bold move that should result in some impressive performance and power efficiency gains. The M4 chip made its debut with the iPad Pro back in May 2024, and is built on cutting-edge second-generation 3M technology, making it even more powerful and capable than its predecessors. We're talking about a chip that can deliver twice the performance of the M2. And it's not just a speed demon, it's also designed to excel at AI tasks, making it a big deal for anyone interested in machine learning or creative work. The M4 chip features a 10-core CPU, complete with machine learning, ML, accelerators, plus a 10-core GPU that has ray tracing capabilities. Now, there's also a variant with a 9-core CPU, but it seems like Apple won't be using that for the Mac Mini. Instead, we might see that in an upcoming iPad Pro or a future MacBook Air. One of the coolest things about the M4 chip is its advanced 16-core neural engine, which is specifically designed to handle AI tasks like a champ. While we don't have the full scoop on the M4 Pro processor yet, you can bet users will have options for different CPU configurations, just like with the current model. All in all, this upgrade is shaping up to mean faster performance and better efficiency, which is absolutely crucial for a compact machine like the Mac Mini. Next up, let's talk about connectivity. The current M2 Mac Mini comes equipped with four Type-C ports, two Type-A ports, an HDMI port, a headphone jack, and gigabit Ethernet. But the M4 Mac Mini is expected to bring some serious upgrades, potentially featuring five USB-C ports. According to German, just like the Mac Studio, two of those Type-C ports will be conveniently located on the front of the new Mac Mini, which is super handy for quickly plugging in devices. At least some of these Type-C ports should support Thunderbolt 4, which means you'll benefit from faster 40 gigs data transfer rates and the ability to connect dual 6K displays. 
This would make the M4 Mac Mini an absolute dream for anyone working with high-end accessories or juggling multiple displays. However, there's a catch. To make room for that fifth Type-C port, it looks like Apple might remove the type of port altogether. This means that if you want to use your trusty old Type-8 accessories, you'll need to grab a compatible adapter. Also, there's been some speculation about whether Apple might ditch the HDMI port, similar to what they did with the MacBook Pro back in 2016. That move didn't go over too well with users, so it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do this time around. Moving on to storage and memory, the new Mac Mini is expected to come in a variety of configurations to suit different user needs. The M4 Mini might start off with 16 gigs of RAM instead of the previous 8 gigs, which would be a smart move to support those new Apple intelligence features. For power users, there could even be options to bump that up to 32 or 64 gigs, giving you plenty of headroom for multitasking and heavy-duty applications. As for storage, the base model could kick off at 256 gigs, but the top-tier version might go all the way up to 2 terabyte. That's a ton of space for all your files, applications, and anything else you need to keep handy. With that powerful M4 processor on board, the new Mac Mini is definitely going to deliver a significant performance upgrade over its predecessors. Expect faster processing speeds that can easily tackle everything from your everyday tasks to more demanding workloads like video editing and 3D rendering. The improved 10-core GPU will also be a huge asset for gamers and creative professionals who crave high-quality graphics. And since the M4 chip is designed with AI capabilities in mind, this new Mac Mini is set to be a fantastic option for anyone interested in diving into machine learning or other A-driven projects. It looks like the Mac Mini is shaping up to be one of the finest compact machines that Apple has ever produced. So, let's wrap things up with a few thoughts on pricing. There have been whispers suggesting that we could see the M4 Mac Mini hitting the market in October 2024, likely alongside the M4 MacBook Pros and the M4 iMac. Apple has a bit of a tradition when it comes to refreshing their Mac lineup in the fall, usually around October or November, so this timing seems to align perfectly with their past patterns. German has indicated that many of the M4 Macs are already on their way from the factories, with the exception of the high-end MacBook Pros and the M4 Pro version of the Mac Mini. As for how much it's going to cost, that's still up in the air. German has hinted that the new Mac Mini may be cheaper to make, which could suggest a more budget-friendly option for consumers. However, considering the impressive new features and enhanced specs, it's also quite possible that the starting price could be similar to, or even higher than the M2 Mac Mini. So, there you have it. That's everything we know about the M4 Mac Mini so far. With all the rumors and leaks swirling around, it seems like this upcoming Mini is going to be a fantastic option for professionals and creatives who need a powerful yet compact desktop computer. We'll be sure to keep you updated as new information comes in, so stay tuned for more exciting details. Thanks for hanging out with us, and take care out there.